Thank you. <laughs> Can I hug my mom? <laughs> Love you, baby. What made it hard for my mom to raise us as a single mother is me being as angsty as I was and my brother having the special needs that he does have. He has Asperger's and Tourette's. I hope my mom takes away from this knowing that she's loved and knowing that there are people who really appreciate and care about her and that she is doing a bang up job being the mom that she is and I honestly couldn't ask for anybody more. <laughs> Mommy. Daughter. I brought you here so I can properly thank you for everything you've done for me. I know it wasn't easy to raise me and Michael by yourself, but you did it. Because you wanted to make sure we were able to afford food, clothing, and our home, you would pick up overtime shifts, although we wouldn't be able to see you until late at night. You made so many sacrifices over the years so that we could be comfortable and you never once complained. Lack of sleep, time that could have been spent with us, or even just buying something for yourself. Your love has made me a more compassionate person. I always put others before myself because that's what you taught me to do. I will be forever grateful. Thank you for shouldering not only your own burdens, but ours as well. It definitely wasn't easy, especially since Michael and I were difficult growing up. With me fighting you tooth and nail about everything and Michael's developmental issues, I don't know how you did it. Did but it out of love. But you always knew exactly what to do or say to ease the situation, and you would do it so calmly. I know when Daddy left, it affected all of us. It was so sudden that we didn't know what to do. He just came home one day from work, grabbed an overnight bag, and left. Just like that, our world came crashing down. Michael became more angry, lashing out a lot of times physically at anyone and everyone because he didn't know how else to process it. I became more withdrawn, not going out, staying in my room, and not really talking to you about my feelings. You were left to deal with all of that. And when he passed away two years later, not only did you have to deal with your own grief, but you also had to deal with me and Michael. I remember how much we used to fight and argue, how nasty and unappreciative I was. Michael never displayed much emotion regarding daddy after the initial shock of his death. He used to, and still does say he doesn't have a father. You immediately became that single parent trying desperately to keep us afloat, even with so much already on your plate. It was rough, but you never complained. You kept your head held high and took that responsibility on like a straight up badass. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Watching you take everything on like that as I grew up has made me more appreciative of your efforts and hard work. If I could even be just a half of the mom that you are, I would be so happy. <laughs> so thank you, Mommy, for never giving up on us or yourself. Thank you for giving me the happiest memories that I will ever have. And finally, thank you for being who you are, for teaching us right and wrong, for making sure we stand up for what we believe in, for defending the people we hold close to us. I love you more than all the stars in the universe. I love you too, baby doll. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think that she even knew what I did for them all through the years. I never knew. What people don't understand about being a single mom is the pressure. You have no support. You have nobody there that you can talk to, nobody that is around to say, you know, it, it's okay. You know, like you're doing a good job, it's okay. You did a really good job. Thank you. So you I tried. Right. You succeeded. And I can't wait until you're a mother. Oh, that's so, that's so mean. It's payback. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Can I hug my mom? <laughs> okay. I love you, baby. 